Hello guys, have you ever encountered something like this in this meme? You're trying to reseed migrate fresh the local database and then you realized your terminal window is connected to production database. And there are various ways to prevent that on database level and in Laravel level. If you are in production, Laravel will ask you to confirm whether you want to run that command. But in this video, I will show you new Laravel minor feature. It seems to be minor, which was released in Laravel 11.9. That will make it impossible to run some artisan commands if you prevent them. And this comes from Jason McCreary, creator of Laravel Shift, and he co-authored that with another active member of the community, Joel Clermont. And the idea is really well explained in the pull request, but this is one of the examples where the naming of the feature is actually different from the original pull request. So let me demonstrate it in action. Here I am in a new Laravel project, installed Laravel 11.9, and I've seeded 11 users, one user from default Laravel, and then 10 more and I want to run PHP Artisan Migrate Fresh. If I do that with these settings in .env, it will just execute on my local machine, wouldn't even ask for confirmation, and if we refresh the database, the users are gone. Which is quite likely that you want to do exactly that if you're working on your local machine. But let's reseed it again with testing user, we refresh and we have one user from default Laravel, which comes from database seeders, database seeder, this test user. And now I will show you how Laravel will ask for your confirmation whether you want to run that command. This feature existed before Laravel 11.9. And this happens when your environment is production production, you change that in .env file. So you should do that on your live servers in production. And now if you're trying to run PHP Artisan Migrate Fresh, it will ask for your confirmation. Let me open that window like this. Application in production. Are you sure you want to run this command? And the default is no. I remember in some version Laravel made it like really visually striking so everyone would actually see that it is an important warning. But still, we are humans and we often think like, oh, okay, of course, I want to run that command. And there's still a possibility that we choose yes and we still run that command, dropping the tables and dropping the users. So to avoid that human error, what Jason suggested is prevent command from running either at all or on some condition, for example, only on production. So what you need to do in the app service provider of your Laravel application, you choose the command, you call the class of that command, for example, fresh command. And in a minute, I'll show you where to find those commands and the method name is prohibit. So we add that to the code and this is the difference. So JSON suggested the naming of prevent from running and then update Taylor suggested his own name of prohibit. And there's also one function kind of to rule them all. I will get to that also in a minute. So if we do that fresh command prohibit, and we're trying to run migrate fresh seed again, this will be a warning return and the command is even impossible to run even if you want to confirm it. Also, you may add a Boolean condition here, for example, prohibit only if app is in production. So it will prevent it from running in the production environment. But if we change env back to local here and try to rerun, it would execute successfully. So this is where you would add a condition and that will likely what you would want to do in real life scenarios. Now let's see what that prohibit destructive commands means. So let's actually put that code here, db prohibit destructive commands also in production and we will see what commands are considered as destructive. Let's click that inside. Let's close that down. And these four are exactly what are mentioned in this original pull request. Migrate fresh, migrate refresh, migrate reset, and why. So you can prohibit, prevent them all by doing just one line of code. But generally, you can restrict any of your artisan commands by adding a trait inside. So it's all based on trait called preventable in the original version. But in Taylor's renamed version, if we go to fresh command, the trait is called prohibitable. So you can add that trait to any of your custom artisan commands and do the same thing with prevention. And generally, those artisan commands from vendor could be found. The class names is illuminate database console. And then inside you have 
a lot of commands here. Many of them are safe to run like monitor, like dump or show and inside of migration subfolder there's migration make for make migration so those are safe and should not be prohibitable. But JSON pointed those four specific commands that we should probably prevent if we want to avoid trouble. And as you probably saw, a lot of people really loved that change. This is one of those examples. It happens every month or so. Some minor version of Laravel, minor weekly release, contains something that is pretty major. Or maybe it's minor in terms of code, the amount of code that was written, but major in terms of impact on a lot of users of Laravel. So this is one of those great examples. So thank you, Joel and Jason, again, for this feature. What do you think about this one? Will you use it? Or maybe you will find different usages, maybe with different condition or on different artisan commands. Share your ideas in the comments below. And of course, subscribe to the channel to get news about Laravel newer versions, releases, features, and stuff like that. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.